Hey guys, my name is Alex West. I'm a salaryman VTuber, also an official NGS content creator. And now we are in episode 4 of Before You Invest. So, last week, we have a new weapon, a new 10-star weapon. It's called the Sover Weapon Series. So, I know some of you guys have been using this weapon. I myself have used this weapon for my Slayer. And I'm really, really having fun. And... All I can say, this is a much better approach for some classes as well. So, for introduction, we'll have here the Sover Weapon. Uh, the base damage starts with 738. At plus 70, it's 938. And on plus 80, it's 1101. So, be aware of that. It is higher than your regular uh, Rayar Weapon. So, if you are using or if you're planning which one is which... Uh, don't worry about it because on this video, we're going to talk about which one should you use. So, uh, for you to obtain this weapon, you can always exchange it at the Growth Mint 2 shop. It will be for 50 Growth Mint for the regular version. If you want to go for the Fixa Fatale 1, uh, it will be for 300 pieces of Growth Mint 2. So, making it really easy to get a fixa one version also the weapon can uh drop from the updated luciel exploration which is another uh big thing making it like super easy to get a high fixa for this one so be aware of this okay because we're gonna talk about it again later so uh for this weapon there will be three weapon potential yes so there's absolutely like three weapon potential but i will explain uh this weapon uh, potential as well so we got the foundation unit we got the core unit and we got the origin unit so you might say alex uh how can i determine which one is which right so for hunter weapons uh fight oh, sorry for hunter and fighter weapons they are the potential is foundation unit Ranger, Braver, Slayer, sorry, Ranger, Braver, Gunner, and Slayer are for uh, core units. And for four Stector, Bouncer, and Waker, they are using the Origin uh, unit weapon potential. So what's the difference between all of these uh, weapon potential units? So um, their weapon potency is, all of them are 41%. However, there is a difference. So for foundation unit, it's going to be damage resistance plus 25%. However, there is a condition. You have to be 95% HP or greater for this to take effect. So it's not a single hit that it's gone, but it's more like you have to maintain a certain HP. So in my opinion, uh, this is some good use, definitely. So if you know, people who wants to be like ultra tanky, yes, 25% damage resistance is really big. But again, do take note that you have to be in 95% HP or higher. So for the core unit, uh, it is minus 10% PP consumption. So making it um, very, very PP or PA spam, definitely. So this is the one that I'm using for my Slayer. So I really love this. The 10% is not that bad in my opinion but for the origin unit it is natural pp recovery speed so this is for most likely for force tector bouncer waker yes even soaring blades is on origin unit so if you want this nice uh pp natural pp recovery that is 15 percent, definitely it's a go it's a go-to however here's the thing about it you need to be in 95% HP or greater just to have this effect. So, most of the effects are a bit gimmicky. Yes, I call it gimmicky because you have to be in 95%. And again, not all the time you'll be in 95% because not everyone can play perfectly. So, it kind of reminds you of the... A gun blaze weapon back in the day that you have to be on perfect play style however uh one thing that will uh, benefit you let's say i'm playing slayer i spam a lot of uh pa with the slayer cheese right now 
yeah, this is very beneficial, the minus 10% PP consumption. However, but if you want to play something like a very tanky hunter or a very tanky fighter, yeah, it gives you that very, very nice 25%. But again, once you get hit, you lose all of that damage reduction. So just be aware of that one. So you have to heal again and stuff like that. However, there is another uh, nice on the weapon potential as well. So up so upon activating or using a photon blast it will recover your hp up to 50 percent so i also test the recovery of the hp um something that i was um expecting that the hp recovery is a bit slow but no it's actually instant so it can instantly heal you up to 50 percent of your hp so Let's say you got hit and now you want to recover your HP for you to have this uh, gimmicky uh, effect. You can use your Photon Blast and then get that easy 41% uh, damage reduction back. So, and unless, again, it's just very gimmicky. But it's a nice bonus to have. But again, it's not something that will give you uh, a f an unfair advantage or just give you on top. So... It's nice to have, but then again, kind of okay. All right, so who are the target audience for this? So these are for players, again, who still don't have a good 10-star weapon at the moment, and including new and returning players. Because right now, uh, there's a lot of returning players because players are talking about, oh, we're going to have another anniversary. People are going to have free stuff. So they're returning. They also want to try the new Luciel. So they're going to maybe they don't have a uh, rare weapon and now they're getting this also there are people who are still using melek and i guess this is a good time for you to change your uh, weapon right now and also this is good for classes that are lacking in strong pa scaling passives such as B braver luster and bouncer because this class are pretty much your uh, counter benefit classes and what I mean about uh, strong PA scaling, so unlike to Hunters, Rangers, and Force, and even Tectors, which have a numerous passive skills to enhance their scaling. So, for example, we have Hunter who have Hunter Avenger Arts. They have Sword Overcharge. They also have the recently nerfed uh, Spiral Edge Type 2 because if you remember, Spiral Edge Type 2 was 35%. Now it's 15%. So... If they're gonna use a rayar weapon it's gonna benefit them even further because they'll have additional five percent damage by using a pa and on the other hand for rangers they have light rounds they have long range advantage if you're using a launcher weapon you also have fallen impact type 3 that will give you a lot of pa scaling so this is why rayar weapons in my opinion is really good for classes that are have nice pa uh passive scaling and for um silver weapons count uh counter heavy classes like braver slayer even bouncer are good for them all right so there are skills like pinion blade brave combat brave combat finish jet intensify jet switch uh jet sweep jolt Mormelo Throw, uh, Unleash Rage, all of those things. Those are considered as active skills. Okay? So do not get confused by that one. Because you might say, uh, hey Alex, what about Pinion Blade? Isn't that scales with a rare weapon? No, it doesn't. Because those things that I just mentioned a while ago, those are active skills. They're not PA. So they don't they don't get the additional 5% from Rayar. So if you are using a Sover weapon, so instead of your starting scaling from your weapon potency from 37%, if you use a Sover weapon, it will be 41%. So that's really big. I'm telling you. That is for... Uh, 37 to 41 is really big especially for pinion blade jet intensify because these two skills can hit really really hard i'm telling you right now okay and lastly acquiring this weapon is much easier due to availability of fixa 
uh, through daily exchanges. Yes, you can exchange this weapon every day. It refreshes every day. So let's say if you can farm like 600 growth men, you're, you're pretty much a, a hardcore player. Yeah, you can get two fix off at all one, but that's not really a good option in my opinion. Okay. So again, this is going to be super easy to obtain. Okay, and fix a version can also be obtained. Yeah, and oh yeah, you can also get a fix a version in the updated Luciel exploration. Okay, that's why in my opinion, Sover weapons is super easy. Like getting a high fix a Sover weapon. I myself was able to get a uh, a Bandak for Sover launcher, which is in to be fair, I'm kind of thinking of using it, but right now a Bandak is a bit in a not in a good place because there's no Lux Hal Finale uh, S capsule and there's no Glan Gigas Vaste S capsule as we speak right now. So I'll probably not use the Abandok for now. All right, let's go with the metrics. So for metrics, I'm just gonna go with fix attack, fix a uh, fix attack, fix a fatale, and fix a Fermina. So I'm not gonna go for every single fixer, okay? um here's the thing about this you can always check this metrics on cakes calculator uh for this me metrics i use bis okay i also did a comparison with a budget build and to be fair there's no difference so that's why i'm just going with bis so the damage difference of uh the damage difference between a rayar weapon and a solver weapon is almost at par it's not really that far okay so Whichever you want to use. However, again, Sover weapons is much better for classes that don't really have good PA passive scaling. Like Hunter, Ranger, uh, Force, Tector, right? We already talked about it. And also for class, Sover weapons for classes has like good active uh, skills. Like active damaging skills like Pinion Blade, Jet Intensify, Mormello Throw. Because again... If they use rare weapon, their weapon scaling potential starts with 37%. And if they use Sover weapon, it's going to be 41%. So again, I'm really going uh, over and over again with that, heart, uh, with that one. So again, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So if you have a good rare weapon right now, let's say for me, I have a Wix 3 rare weapon and I'm a ranger, definitely rayar wins for me uh, however let's say you're playing bouncer class right now let's say bouncer soaring blades and you want to prioritize your pinion blade definitely i will go for a nice uh sover weapon with a fix of fatale three or even higher as, as you can see the damage difference over here let me hopefully if i can zoom in the damage difference from a fix of fatale 3 rayar weapon this is 80% pa is only 0 0.05 so it's not really even a big difference this one over here is 0 0.03 and 0 0.77 so the only thing that makes this a big a, a bit higher again if you have like good passive skills like light rounds long range advantage fallen impact type 3 all of those skills that can give you good pa scaling so if you don't have like that like especially like uh bouncer don't have it right they don't have those kind of things um braver don't have it as well so yeah sover will be a good one uh to use definitely all right let's move on to the next one All right, next is going to be Fixa because this has been asked for like most of the time. Like everybody has been asking this. What Fixa should I use for my Sover weapon? So if you are non-Slayer main, if you're non a non-Slayer main, always go for Fixa Fatale. However, there is another exemption because I said here non-Slayer. How If you are a Ranger or you're using Force, um, you can go with Wix because 
remember rangers have uh, blight rounds and blight rounds can designate a specific part as a weak point so you that will be considered as a weak point and fix a wicks is additional damage to weak point that is also similar with the force elemental damage so exploiting elemental weakness also count as targeting a weak point uh also that one uh that info was provided with to me by two lives like weeks ago uh, about uh fix a week so again thank you for uh the info uh lastly for slayer because this is always always like the miss one over here i have seen slayers with fix a fatale again guys slayer has already high crit rate you have high crit rate on your passive skills already so what you need to do is you need to go for termina because fix a termina increases your critical damage so since your class again has so much critical chance on your passive skills go for critical damage increase so that way you will do more damage remember the starting weapon potency is 41 percent. that will also go that will also transcend on your fix a termina and they buff termina recently like a few months ago right so termina right now is just really good again if you saw my uh stream a few days ago me and uh mainnet were able to do a duo mdfa and i'm using a fix a termina 2 on my gunblade and my dps there is around 5.5 to 6.5 and pretty much my weapon is absolute garbage um let me try if i can find my weapon but again it's just really really a, a no-brainer because again some people have some uh i have seen this in the game that i see slayer are using uh fatale i know some some players would prefer to have oh i want to have more crit rate but in general i'm telling you right now having more crit rate for slayer is a big no-no okay so this is my weapon right here yeah <laughs> you can see it's not the it's not the best thing in the world all right I'm using LC Augments as in Gladiasol LC Halfinale XD. Yes, I'm using XD Ward, sure. But the others are just... Th th these are all free stuff. Except for the Ward, okay? The XD Ward. Because uh, that one is for 3.3 million. But 3.3 million, again, super easy to farm. It's not really hard to farm one. So, again, for Slayers, go with Termina. Okay? Termina is super good. Um... What is my recommendation as well for Fixa? Try to get to Fixa 3. Okay? Regardless of what uh, Fixa you're going to use. Let's say Fixa Fatale, go for Fixa 3. Wix, 3 definitely. And Termina, go for 3. 3 is your safe line, I'm telling you. If you want to go for 4, that's all up to you. Um, if you want to go for 5, uh, I guess you have lots of money. So definitely go, go with that one. Okay, but for me, three is more than enough. Three, I consider three as a very high fixa already. So four, it's all up to you, okay? Uh, in conclusion, uh, the damage gap between solver and rare weapons is nearly equivalent. However, solver weapons are consider, uh, consider considerably easier to obtain and acquiring a high-level fixa is also manageable with them. So... Again, super easy to obtain, super easy to and uh to have uh, fixa. Unlike to rare, especially right now, nobody is farming at the gorge. It's super hard to make a rare weapon. It will definitely take you quite a while. For me to have like fixa wix three on my rare weapon, it took me an entire month to get that. However, for me to get a Termina 2 on my silver weapon. This took me less than an hour. And yes, I can definitely go for 3. I'm trying to get to 3, but I'm just going to take my time. Because uh, 
there's gonna be a new upcoming weapon so i'm kind of considering i might use the new weapon uh instead for my slayer so that's pretty much it for the silver weapon um if you guys have questions you can always uh put it on the comment section i also stream four times a week on my uh, twitch channel i pretty much do this kind of topics uh during uh pngs waiting room also in my streams we do a lot of discussion uh, exp especially exploiting the current meta making things easier for everyone so everyone could uh, enjoy pso2 ngs so again my name is alex west and i'll see you guys on the next episode gg everyone